Welcome to Boots By. My name is William, and today I'm gonna to talk about six expert ways to lace your boots. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first lacing style I'm gonna do is called the crisscross standard. And basically, this is the most common lacing method whenever you buy a pair of boots. It shows up looking like this. In most cases, some are different, but this is the most standard, and so it's what we're gonna start with. So what you do is you start with your lace, and you go from the outside, if you have a, an odd number of eyelets like I do, you go from the outside of the boot inside. So when you get that, you want to kind of lift both of these up and make sure that your laces are an even length, otherwise it's going to be weird at the end. And from there, you just choose a side and you go from the outside of the boot, like that, and then the other side, I'm also going to go from the outside of the boot. All right, now that you got that, you kind of tighten it up a little bit, and then you just repeat the same process, but always starting on the same side of the eyelet. So in this case, I started on the inside of the boot. And so even though, so I'm just gonna keep going in that direction, keeping that pattern. Otherwise you're gonna get some like mixed up. It's gonna look all mixed up and it won't look good. So you don't keep with the same half of the lace, you just keep on the same side of the boot. Just like that. And you continue over the top until you are finished. Boom. So there you have it guys. That is the crisscross standard. This is the most common one. It's also very simple, very easy. Um, and once you just start it, it kind of just finishes itself. So that's number one, the crisscross standard. All right, this is step number two, and this is called the army method. The reason why it's called the army method is that most of the times, military boots, they're not really known for their comfort. So army men, They'll, they'll get there, they'll try on their boots, they'll get a bunch of blisters, and eventually they learn this lacing style because it allows for extra flexibility in the leather and will prevent a lot of blisters. It adds a little extra room so they don't have to worry so much about hurting their feet. So again, you're gonna come in from the top of the boot uh, right here. So you're gonna go from outside to inside on that bottom eyelet so you get that first rung. So the first step you're gonna do is you go ahead and do a simple cross. So I'm just gonna kind of do the same one that I did last time. I'm gonna go from this time though, I'm bringing the lace diagonally over and through the inside to the outside. So same thing over here, diagonally over through the inside to the outside. And I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit, make sure it's even. Then uh, starting on this one, this is where I'm gonna start, is always on the inside. You don't have to, but once you pick a side, just stick with it. Then I'm going in to the next vertical eyelet. So I don't cross over, I just go in right up here. And then I repeat that action over here on this side. Boom. Now, again, picking the same side, I'm gonna cross over after I've done this next vertical eyelet. I'm gonna cross over through the inside. Boom. Same thing on the opposite side. Boom. Tighten that up. Then again, vertical eyelet up. Cross that in. Cross that in. And then just repeat those steps. All right, so that is method number two. That is called the army method. All right, method number three is called the over under friction free. So this one is very similar to the crisscross standard, but instead of, but we're gonna do a little variation that's gonna change things up. And this is a really cool one that kind of adds a little bit of, it's a little different than the crisscross standard. Um, it's a little more unique. So that's why I like it. We're gonna give it a shot. Basically, again, starting going outside in on the bottom eyelet. If, if you have an odd number of eyelets, you're gonna start going from outside to in, and then the next move is to go under. This is the opposite if you have an even number of eyelets, but in this case, I have seven eyelets. I think, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna start from the outside going in, and then the next move I'm gonna make 
is I'm going to go from the inside to the outside diagonally. So we'll go ahead and do that on both sides. Again, always starting with the same side. And then the next one over, I'm going diagonally across and over, but I'm going outside in. And I'm gonna repeat on this side, outside in, very good. And then I'm going inside out, inside out, boom. Uh, again, one more time, outside in, outside, in, and continue that until you're done. There you go, the over, under, cross, friction-free boot style. Okay, lacing style number four is called the paratrooper's ladder. This one's a little different because we're gonna start off going inside to outside on the bottom rung. So I'm just going to lace this through and then I'm gonna make sure we have an even amount. Got it, very good. So the first step here is, doesn't really much matter which side you do, but I'm just gonna keep going this way. You lace it through the, you know, from outside into the next vertical eyelet for both sides. Cool. So now that you got that, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bring this over horizontally and I'm gonna go under this little eyelet that I created. So I'm gonna, I'm not actually going through the eyelet uh, across, I'm going through the lace. So I'm gonna do that for both sides. Sweet. So as you see, uh, when I brought it diagonally across, I did not go through an eyelet, I went through that little loop that I created right here and here. Awesome, I'm gonna go ahead and now go through the next vertical eyelet like that and do the same on this side. Great. And then again, as I bring it over, I'm going to go under the new eyelet that I created and under the new eyelet I created. Boom. All right, so now I'm just going to continue that process. The reason why this one, this is a good lace that you might want is this adds a lot of security. So it really puts your heel into the into the heel of the boot, really reduces a lot of friction, keeps your foot very secure. You know, paratroopers, if they're going out, they're gonna be, you know, landing, they're gonna be at a full sprint as soon as they land. So they're gonna need something that's very, very secure. And this is the best option for them. And this is number four, this is the paratroopers ladder. Check it out. All right, boot lacing style number five. This one is called the rope ladder. Let's check it out. So again, just like the paratrooper ladder, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start going from inside to outside and then make sure these are evenly spaced. Hopefully you can see this, but what you're gonna do is cross this over twice to make a loop like that. So I basically just, again, Took, took these two laces and crossed them over until they kind of tangled with themselves, pulled it down, and then I'm gonna take this and go in, what, I'm gonna go in through the bottom to the outside. So that's the key on this one. You're always gonna be going through the bottom of the eyelet to the outside, and then you're gonna start that process over again, bring it up, kind of make sure it's even, and then you're gonna cross it over once uh, until it's kind of, tangles up on itself, and then you're going to cross it through and under and out. So that is how you complete that one. And now I'm just gonna finish it out. One thing on this one to note is that you want to kind of space these, make sure these are in the middle after you make the knots. Otherwise you can kind of have them off to either side, like, you know, that, and it just looks funky. It doesn't look as uniform. I mean, maybe that's something you want, but I personally like the style. I think it looks really good with like logger boots or work boots. It's really secure. Again, it keeps the heel pushed back into the heel of the boot. So if you struggle with blisters or anything like that, or you're breaking in a pair of boots, this is a good lacing style for keeping it very secure. So I'm just gonna go through and finish this lacing really quick so you can see what it looks like when it's all finished. Here it is. Number five, the rope ladder in action. This is a good one for 
very secure ankle support and these laces they're gonna they're gonna last actually a really long time because they're not they don't have much friction on the boot itself so there it is the rope ladder last at number six we have what i'm calling the italian corkscrew so by the way all these names i've i've made up or i've gotten from somewhere else most of them i made up myself but so these aren't actually names don't go talk to your friends about like have you tried the italian corkscrew you might think you're weird but anyway for this one uh, you're gonna start basically going from the outside in, like so. And this one's a little weird. Definitely different than any other lacing style we have on this, but if you have really tight boots that are hard to get on, this is this way is really easy to unlace. So for like for this pair of boots, for instance, I need to get out like four or five eyelets so that I can kind of open this up so it's wide enough for me to fit my foot in. So you, if you have any boots that are really hard to put on, I love this lacing method because it makes it really easy to undo and then redo. And you don't have to kind of like fuss with two strings, you only have to mess with one. So the secret to this one, is you're gonna make one side really, really short. Make one side that is about long enough only to go, you know, this is gonna rest about here. So that's pretty short. But as you can see, or maybe you can't see, this is how much, there's a huge difference between how much I'm gonna leave. So you start off on the bottom rung and then you go all the way from the bottom through the top eyelet. That is just gonna be there and you're only gonna work with this side of the string and you're just gonna corkscrew it all the way up. So now I'm taking the long end of the string, I'm going from the outside in and I'm gonna go the next uh, available horizontal eyelet and then from here straight, straight across going outside to in and I'm gonna repeat that same motion over and over and over again. I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. So again, I'm just gonna repeat that same exact motion going uh, horizontally across in the underside and then going on the outside in, repeating that same movement over and over again like it's a corkscrew. All right, and then on this last lace, you're gonna notice that you have, you're on the inside and you don't really have an eyelet over here to go into. So you just go in and out like that. Boom, and there you have it. What I'm calling the Italian corkscrew. If you haven't already, please tap the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for joining us at Bootspy. If you want more fit and style recommendations, you can head over to bootspy.com right now and check that out. Again, thank you so much for joining us, and until next time, put your best foot forward.